The city of Sault Ste. Marie has experienced an extraordinary and unforeseen amount of heavy rainfall recently. Many roads, driveways, and basements are severely damaged because of the floods. We had the chance to talk to Public Health Inspector Josh Boudreaux from Algoma Public Health about some tips to use when water damage and flooding occurs. So if home homeowners are willing to take on the job of cleaning up floodwaters and sewage on their, on their own, um, there are certain procedures that Algoma Public Health recommends the homeowner take. Um, first of all, you need to prepare. Um, so before venturing into any flooded basement, make sure there's no electrical hazards. Um, this could include uh, cutting the power off yourself or calling your electrical utility to cut the power off for you. Um, in addition, uh, you need to wear the proper protective uh, equipment, so gloves, boots, protective clothing, and uh, eye protection as well. During the cleanup, you want to make sure that you're not touching your eyes, hands, face, anything that could cause an infection. So now that you're in the basement, the first step is to remove the stagnant water. This could be from um, pumping it out with a shop vac or um, maybe unplugging a drain. So the quicker the water is removed, the safer, the safer the environment and the quicker the cleanup can happen. Next, you want to discard any furniture, building materials that are absorbed in the flood water in the sewage. Um, anything that can't be reasonably clean and disinfected has to be discarded. Um, examples include carpet, drywall, uh, couches, um, any in, or any other building material that cannot be clean and disinfected. In addition, if there's any food that has been contaminated, throw it out. Um, we go by the rule of thumb here at Algon Public Health. When in doubt, throw it out. You do not want to um, risk your health or your family's health uh, with the food that is contaminated by the floodwaters. Your next step is that you want to clean and disinfect everything. So the first step is cleaning. You use warm water in a non-ammonium based soap in a bucket. Um, start from the floor up. You get all your required materials, so your, your mop, your, your sponges, your brushes. Start from the floor, soap and water. Have a separate bucket for uh, rinse water, clean rinse water. Rinse it, and then when you're done with that, you need to disinfect. You can use uh, about a cup of bleach per gallon of water in a solution, and you need to saturate all the contaminant areas with the bleach. When you do that, you have to make sure you let it sit for 30 minutes. This is the proper contact time that the bleach needs to do its job. When you're done with that, it's very important to ventilate. You need to open your windows, use fans, dehumidifiers. The drier the area, um, the less hazardous it will be. If you are looking for more information on ways to deal with floods, you can visit www.algomapublichealth.com. For Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.